Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shothinator here, and this is the final fight in the lightweight CPU versus CPU tournament between Anthony Pettis and Eddie Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez has won a split decision against Rafael Dos Anjos, a unanimous decision against Ben Henderson to get here, and now Anthony Pettis has won a unanimous decision against Nate Diaz, and then he won by submission against Donald Cerrone in the third round to get to this final spot. Anthony Pettis has been the more impressive one so far in this tournament, winning a, that dominant decision over Nate Diaz. Eddie Alvarez has at least lost one round in each of his fights so far. Oh, the kicks. I, I honestly, my pick for this fight is by submission in the second round, I say Anthony Pettis. I mean, just how he had lower stamina than Donald Cerrone and he submitted him in that third round. I think if Pettis locks in a submission at any time, I think he'll get it. Ooh, nice body shot. You can tell. Both these guys want the finish. There have been no knockouts or TKOs yet in this tournament. Both guys are actually doing like, you know, throwing some power shots for computer players, you know? But like, this is exactly what Marshall Mind was talking about in one of his later videos. The damage system is bad. I mean, all these head kicks and power shots that are landing, not, no one's been rocked yet. I mean, that's just so unlike real life. I mean, all the power shots here, someone would be really hurt. Oh, that's Superman punch. And Pettis gets a takedown. Get side control. Pettis trying to go for side straddle. Alvarez won't let him. Pettis keeps blocking the sweep. Lands some good shots in side control here. Oh, Pettis is going for an invert triangle. Wasn't going to happen. Pettis still landed some shots in side control. Where Alvarez is trying to get out, but Pettis' is ground game is just too good right now. And there it is, that's the end of the round. I think, you know, even before Pettis took to the ground, I think Pettis was, you know, slightly winning that round. But when he took him down, I think it's pretty obvious that Pettis won that round now. So 10-9 Pettis for me so far on my scorecard. And here we go, we're starting round number two right now. What a heck of a that is. Oh, he tries to get the head kick, but he misses. Oh, nice leg kick by Pettis. Oh my god, those hooks by Alvarez. He's really trying to land something here. Oh, Pettis misses the Capoeira kick, though. This is the round I think Pettis is going to get that submission in. But don't count Alvarez out. I mean, Alvarez is very, very good in submissions. Pettis keeping that top position, doing some damage to the body. He's got to be careful though. Alvarez is very well versed in submissions also. Oh, I can't believe Alvarez missed that one. Dang. 
Both guys really trying to land some power shots. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, another nice knee. Alvarez has no stamina. Now they're just Pettis. Oh, my God. And Pettis falls on him. Pettis should really go for a submission. Pettis needs to move and go for a submission. Because Alvarez has no stamina. He's gaining stamina now, but... Pettis has a golden opportunity to win this fight. He just wasn't taking it. Pettis stands up, dives in with a punch and it lands. Pettis trying to get half guard. He lands an elbow. He's really trying to gain half guard. There he goes. He gets half guard now. Now he tries to stand up for no apparent reason. Alvarez stands it up though. Nice he's head kick and then a Superman punch by Alvarez. Pettis has to be careful. Eddie Alvarez has the heavy hand ability. And front kick to the body ends the round. I'm going to have to go 10-9 again for Pettis. I think Alvarez needs to finish this fight here in the third round. This is kind of like the Anthony Pettis down Cerrone fight we had in the semifinals. Where, um, where Pettis lost the first two rounds pretty clearly to Cerrone. And then Pettis came back and got that inverted triangle to finish the fight in the third round. If Alvarez can pull off something like that in the finals, that would be ridiculous. Oh, nice front kick. I don't know if that... Oh, that head kick landed for sure. Someone tried to call me. I ain't, that's not going to fly right now. Oh, that's Superman punch by Alvarez. Oh, Pettis trying to land one now. Pettis needs... Oh, no. Pettis gets taken down. See, like, as long as Pettis doesn't get finished this round, he wins this. He wins the tournament. That's all. As long as Pettis doesn't get finished, he will need to... He'll have to win this tournament. I mean, I don't see how the judges can possibly give the first two rounds to Alvarez. Oh, blocks the head kick. Oh, he parries it this time. Now really, Pettis. Pettis really should be kind of just keeping his distance and striking that way. Or even just taking it to the ground and doing some ground and pound. Alvarez overall should just be trying to take Pettis' head off, really. Dead or if he feels confident enough, just take him down and go for a submission right away. Double underhooks. Pushes him off. Oh no, Pettis blocks the takedown. Oh, uppercut by Pettis lightens. That's a light kick. Oh, it's the sprawl by Eddie Alvarez. He's landing some good body punches. Oh, he went for an anaconda choke. See, he's, he really needs to finish. If he was smart, he'd go for that anaconda choke. Oh, my God. He lands the cartwheel kick, but falls down, and Eddie Alvarez has the mount. Pettis transitions to half guard. Pettis gets open guard. Pettis could go for a submission here. But no, he wants the standing. Oh, the body shots by Pettis here. Nice front kick. Computer players, this is all on pro difficulty. Like, they just don't do a lot of damage. Oh, 
nice head kick. Oh, Pettis. And that ends the fight. That ends the fight. I think that round, that I think that was a pretty close round that time. I don't really know though. I think maybe 10-9 Pettis that round. I'm not sure. But either way, I think Pettis won the, is going to get a unanimous decision either way. We'll have to see though. Okay, okay. Yep, Anthony Pettis is the tournament winner by unanimous decision against Eddie Alvarez, who is the runner-up. That was a pretty good tournament. It wasn't a terrible tournament. I mean, the fights weren't all that great, but we got to see um, a submission by Ben Henderson that I honestly didn't think was going to happen. And then Pettis came back against Cerrone with a submission. We saw a really close fight between Rafael Dos Anjos and Eddie Alvarez in that split decision. But that's going to be the end of the lightweight tournament, guys. Please hit that like button. Also, comment. Let me know what you thought about the fight. And, of course, hit that subscribe button. Next is the welterweight tournament, which will kick off between... Which will start off with Johnny Hendricks and Carlos Condit. I'll see you guys next time. This has been the Shrothinator. Peace.